So we're all squished. It's us, our four girlfriends, and our friend George Not Found who decided to come along for the ride. Cause I don't <laughs> know if he's happy about it because it was chaotic. We, but we initially invited him to a different trip and then plans kept changing and we're like, don't worry, it's going to be really nice fun, relaxed vacation, which I don't think he realized what he signed up for. So we all get in, and this was literally the biggest car we could find. We're all squish, and we're like, all right, off we go to the island. And we got very, very car sick because the streets were extremely narrow and um, very, very curvy because we're going up this And hill. we had to drive like four hours. And we it, were constantly driving. But honestly, it, it was very beautiful. You could see here... That it was just a view of all of the water as you're driving through this mountainous area. So, I mean, the views were nice, but everybody in the car kept feeling like they were going to throw up. Yes, but it was funny. And then once again, when we were exiting, I'm walking with some friends and George. And I see George, and we're walking out, and he decides to sit down on one of the umbrella chairs to put on his <laughs> shoes. And I'm like, George, this is not the land where you stop. We must keep going. And he's putting on his shoes, and then the security guard's approaching. George has one shoot on and one sock on. And the man comes, and I see him going like, George, you better run. And then George tries to play dumb, and the guy knows my face. He knows all of us. And at some point, he, like, picks up George, like, by his clothes. And George has, like, doesn't have his shoes on. And he's, like, dragging him away. And I'm like, George, you shouldn't have sat there. So we physically got, I was so scared that he was, like, going to get beat up because he's so so small but luckily we survived so but the second time he was like i called police and that was not on me that was on george oh, so they also time. said go back to your country because yeah. <laughs> everyone in the back is just screaming they're like everyone they made us listen to this song like every hour Wait, and they're constantly screaming let me the play the their song. lungs. and poor alex is trying to navigate and everyone's like play peppers play, play peppers, peppers! <laughs> and at some point i was like no more peppers peppers and nobody knows the lyrics so it's just <laughs> incoherent babbling from the back seat Teca buena saca deca, en la biblioteca, en la discoteca. Pum, pum, pecha de la biblioteca, buen domingo media, en la biblioteca. Pum, pum, pecha de la biblioteca, ta ta ta. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> George Play so, so, so You know that the spirit is down when even George is like, can we just go home? And it takes a lot for him to complain, but at some point even George is fed up with this shit because we've been driving around the Swindy Roads for like an hour trying to find the exit to the beach, which then we realized was this tiny, tiny road that doesn't even look like it exists on a map. So eventually, many hours later, we make it to the second beach town. This is all in one day. And... and Honestly, it's thanks to our friend Sarah, who was like, no, we have to see it. We have to see it. And, and she it was, was worth right. It. it was worth it. It was worth it. Right. It's okay. We go right. to this restaurant. And we're like, ah, yes, our good friend got us a reservation, which we didn't even know her name. And we're like, may, may we please get a table? And all of our friends, I don't know why, but they fall in love with this man just because he's wearing I, a no, linen Andrew, shirt. I'm pretty sure he was Zeus reincarnated, okay? He, 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 did, Zeus he did have the build of oh Zeus, and he gave us wine while we waited for our table. <gasps> and everyone, even George is like, Zaddy, please! <laughs> we, did, we did nickname him Zaddy for Zeus and Daddy. Yes. I think everyone in the restaurant was giving us 30 looks the entire time because we're really loud and all the girls were screaming for Zaddy, which we did get a photo with him. I, I hit to the bathroom, but Alex... Just every time he'd look over, I would blush and I didn't know why. It was very uncomfortable. Even though he was like 50. <laughs> no, he was in his 40s and he was a fox, okay? Um, but luckily to my very smart lawyer friend, Sarah, who knows how to book stuff, she has an amazing resort... And it was a really nice place in Tuscany. It basically oversaw all of this farmland and those beautiful Tuscan trees that are really long and pointy. And it was a wellness spa. And this was my favorite part of the trip. It was actually really nice. And then they even upgraded us in exchange for like some Insta stories, which Sarah, of course, the lawyer boss bitch that she is, negotiated uh, for everybody to get done there. So. Oh god, all the stories I'm ashamed, like when we didn't finish our food and the grandma yelled at us. 
The food was very good. The drinks were very good. We got to lay in the beach. We got some massages. I will say we were the youngest people at this place, so we would be talking by the pool, and then we would get shushed by elders in the back who were reading. Even though it's a public space, it's a pool area. It, it was, people a, it was go like to a have pool fun. outside. And we couldn't talk. Basic and and yeah, we man. kept getting in trouble. And then whenever we tried to go venture into the vineyard, the hotel staff came after us and they're like, it's dinner time, come back. That's true. <laughs> Felt like a bunch of little kids. Friends how to play Baba Warba, which is this Romanian game called Blind, Blind Hag. So you basically blindfold someone and then they're trying to catch one person. They're in a room, but you're allowed to hit the hag with pillows and throw things at the pillows and th at the hag and things like that. So we would play it in the hotel room where we'd blindfold one person and everybody else would hide around. So you're supposed to throw like just pillows, but I had never seen, I think Sarah finally got to take her anger out on George because when George was the Baba, she was just violently throwing whatever she could. Wait, was that Sarah or Sarah and friend? honestly all of the friends. I don't know what anger Why, but George was the nicest one on the trip. It was a little bit annoying. I would also throw the pillow, but not as hard as they. They would find shoes, like my Balenciaga sweatshirt that literally weighs 20 pounds and then violently chunking it at George. So, and, and things kind of started falling, and we're like, okay, this game is getting too violent because they had unleashed some anger that I had never seen I before. I think we all unleashed anger on that trip, <laughs> yeah. um, and we were playing creepy Italian music while doing it, but nobody really threw stuff at me when I was the Yeah, Baba. because she was insane, but okay, <laughs> after our first game of Baba Warba, um, the hotel call. So we start getting a call, and we all immediately we like put all the pillows away. We all sit like literally like we're sixth graders having a sleepover, and we get caught by our parents. And we pick up the phone. Sarah answers it, and she's like, "Hello," and they're like, "Um, we're getting noise complaints. We're hearing banging." And our friends like, oh, "I'm sorry, I'm asleep. That's not us. Like, it's not us." They're like, uh, "It has to be you. You're the only one on the higher level." She's like, "No, it's not us. I, I'm really confused." <laughs> so then, what we do is we go over to Alex's room on the other side of the tower and we play more Baba Warba. <laughs> oh, this is fun. We find the scooters. George is like a little kid, like scootering through town. We lose him half the day because he's just on his own, wandering on the scooter. We, we finally, we found a really nice restaurant. Oh yes, the restaurant was great. It was, it, it was adorable, like there were the grandparents who were working in the kitchen and the son who was working there too. Um, and everything was great, the food was cool. It was the best restaurant. It, like you could see behind the counter, the little granddad who was probably like 80, he was cooking and, oh my god, the cat. It was the most wholesome cook, he kind of cooked with his hands, but you could see he put his heart into it and his son was the server, and I think his mom was also the server. Um, even though we did have to wait two hours to leave because they wouldn't give us the check, the food was delicious. That's true, we started making side bets on how soon the check would come. Oh yes! That's true, and whoever won the side bet got to decide what the group had to do at the end of the night. And um, after I won the bet, I, w I said it would take eight minutes. It actually took like 12. Um, and then George lost, Alex lost, our friend lost. And we go into the street, we run, run into these young girls. And they're like, we're going to the club! It's so much fun! And we're like, oh, there's clubs in Florence? We got to go! So we go home. We all get dressed <laughs> up. And um, it, it gets a little late, and we're ready to go to the club. Um, and we, we begin our adventure. It got so late that one of our friends just bailed, and she was like, I'm too tired. So she sleeps. <laughs> so <laughs> me, Andrea, and George decide to go venture out. Um, and this club is a 30-minute walk a 20, away. It was no, a 20-minute walk. Well, okay, the map said 20 minutes. But it was 30. Well, we didn't know that. So we start walking. And um, none of we were our, our plan was to old scooter. Alex is wearing these big high heels as well. Um, and we decide we're looking for scooters. The only person who finds a scooter is George, so he goes up because there as were usual. no scooters left. So George took the only scooter. So he's just rambling around the street scootering, and Alex and I are walking up, and we're going up this really really steep hill, like 
this steep chat and she's wearing these big high heels and at some point we've been walking for like 20 minutes we don't even know where george is he's like lost up in the hill and we're like we give up and alex sits down to take off her heels and then this giant group of kids walk by and they said that the club was very fun but that it was very high up the hill and george had already gone there on his bike so he comes down to tell us that it's very far <laughs> and we got so defeated that we looked at the hill we gave it another minute and I said, I'm not going to make it. Well, no, actually what happened is we tried to walk up the hill a little bit. And after yeah, like two minute. minutes, we gave up. And that was our night at the club. Uh, yeah, George had a great time on his scooter. So then after walking 20 minutes up this steep ass hill, we all decide to go home. <laughs> so George let me take his scooter because I couldn't walk. Andrea and George found a bike somewhere. And we just made it back and all went we to barely bed. Barely survived. Yeah, I know, George should have been a gentleman and should have given Alex the scooter. He did on she the way back. Walk. He did, we did kind of guilt him into giving we me did. the scooter. We did, he wouldn't give like, us his George, scooter. give us your scooter. <laughs> so we, we go to Rome, another hectic car ride. Alex drives, the kids are screaming and in the back. And at some point, and this is when I finally let Andrea drive because I was tired. Oh, and what was driving too. like, Andrea? Thank you oh for the Oh my tuition. god. So, number one, I'm driving, and at some point, I just lose it. It was, you, you tell this part better. Well, uh, <laughs> one of our friends, not George, our other friend, kept requesting a song over every other song. She just and I was like, yelling, I just want to listen to my music. I'm driving in Rome. I would like to listen no, to my music. I'm really losing her mind. Goes, You're so annoying. Because of that, I'm not going to play your song. I'm going to play my music. I want to listen to house. And she just goes full gremlin mode, but I found it so satisfying because I was so used to driving that I was like, okay. <laughs> and and, and she wouldn't stop screaming. She kept going, Papas, Papas. I like roll down the windows thinking like maybe I can hear her, but she doesn't stop. She doesn't stop. So then I give in and I play Papas. And everyone's screaming in the back, enjoying it. I just wanted to listen to House. And we ordered this most terrible, terrible drink. It tasted, I've never tasted something worse in my life. It was like 25 euros for the worst thing ever. And we played a game where the loser would have we played, to. We played a game of poker where the loser would have to drink it. No, the drinks were good, but not at this place. We played a bet where the punish, where the loser has to drink this. And of course, me and George lose. And George takes like 30 minutes to do his punishment. I do my punishment as a woman, as a man, in five seconds. And he's being like the biggest baby, crying over like half like a tiny glass of like some chocolate drink. So finally, he drinks his drink. We finally get out of there. And he's like, we must go to McDonald's because I need to see Italian McDonald's. And I'm like, I want real food. I'm hangry. And everyone decides that we're eating at McDonald's when all we had was a croissant. I we ate that night. Yes. Well, all we ate was some fries and fucking Parmesan cheese. Yeah. That's what he was doing. George just kept ordering cheese from McDonald's. <laughs> and so my friends are sitting there eating blocks of Parmesan cheese and McDonald's fries. And I'm like, guys, it's 10 p.m. and we have nowhere to sleep. And because Sarah's not here, nobody cares. Well, so I, I go care. out. No, I, I was I was checking something else when you went to look, and that's why I stayed. Uh, no, you were sitting at McDonald's. No, no, no. Eating the I cheese. I did a lot of work. I <laughs> sure. remember this. So at this point, oh, the yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, and George gets another scooter. <laughs> so hang on, wait. Before we, I find a hotel, but now the issue is. We can't remember where we parked the car because it's this random ass motel that would just we weren't even supposed to park the car but the guy like saw I didn't know how to drive and was like let me help you and then just took the car and we can't find where we parked it so once again George gets another scooter and he's scootering through Rome like he would like we're walking this main street and George goes down every street comes back goes down another Honestly, one it was efficient <laughs> and it wasn't well that was after like 30 minutes of walking because we kept walking looking for the car never found it and George is like that's it I'm getting a scooter and then at some point I was like that's it I'm getting a scooter and me on my scooter found it not George so it finally after like 45 minutes of roaming around 12 a.m. in dirty stinking clothes living off of nothing but Parmesan cheese and McDonald's french fries we find the car <laughs> so George finally gets out of Rome I think he's so happy to leave the country good for him 